Prior to the commencement of the trial, speaking to journalists for the first time, Richard Jekpa expressed optimism that he'll be freed based on evidence before the court. According to his opinion, straight, the way he thinks it's supposed to be. I have done my in court. So I'm expecting to come in as in, do you, do you have this in court, not in public opinion. Because I'm, well, a, I'm an innocent man. Well. When the case was called, Justice Sifia Sewa Asari Butre indicated to the parties in court that she had received four applications from lawyers of the accused persons. An application for stay of proceedings pending appeal, as well as an application for inquiry into the alleged conduct of the Attorney General and a mistrial by Dr. Atto Forson's lawyers. An application for an order striking out charges against third accused Richard Jakpa and an affidavit in support of the application by Jakpa by the former Deputy Finance Minister. Lead counsel for Richard Jakpa, Thad Yossori, filed a motion to oppose an earlier affidavit in opposition by a principal state attorney to the application to strike out charges against the third accused. He argued that the affidavit failed to disclose the source of the information in respect of the matters regarding Jacques' conversation with the AG. But Goffredami opposed. He insisted that the objections are unfounded and are without merit, adding that the manner in which the objection was raised defeats all requirements of fairness. The presiding judge indicated that she will give her ruling on the four applications before her on Thursday, June 6, and adjourn the trial. Speaking after the hearing, Attorney General Goffrey Abouadame noted that good would always prevail. And of course, we replied, as we know, all I can say is that the law does not delight in the pleasure of the wicked. And that even though they laid traps for me, I will flee from them. And righteousness will always prevail over evil. But NDC Communications Officer Sami Jinfi had this to say. Serious averments have been made in court, not in the media, against him. He's been quick to deny them in the media. His spokesperson, Wilberforce. You understand? And the Deputy Attorney General have issued statements and granted interviews defending him. Now we come to court, you expect this Attorney General to swear an affidavit, to dispute these things, to provide counter evidence. And the man is fleeing from accountability. He can't defend himself. He wants somebody to do that for him. Well, we, we wait to see what the court's decision will be on all these matters. Lord Edward, sorry. TV3 News, Accra.